Right, guys, welcome to the next part of the Terraria 1.2 Let's Play. And what the hell, man? That was just like... The, the look! The look in this Let's Play. The first... I was just about to say, I need a fast clock so that I can mix it with uh, another accessory that we've got to make one of the ingredients needed to make the ank. And Jesus, that... I can't believe the look on this Let's Play. But yeah, um, I've had a look on the wiki and there's quite a few things that we need to get. Oh, there's a pumpkin guy. Let's go. So, um, to start off with, we need to get more chlorophyte so we can make the plate mail. And then on top of that, we're not, we're not going to do it straight away because it would be too repetitive. But, um, I'm also going to try and get the turtle armor, which also requires chlorophyte. So that might take a while. And, what, let's get the pumpkin Yeah. And, um, um, yeah, it's currently the 8th of November, and we haven't got anywhere near all the goodie bags and stuff. So, I will, if it, tomorrow, I will probably spend, like, a few hours, literally, just killing stuff, and I'll try and record the results. Like, I might do the same as what I did last time, like, go to hell, and then kill loads of stuff, but don't pick anything up, and then I can show me picking everything up like once I've done it so then I can like show that I'm not cheating because everything I've done so far is completely 100% legit and cheating is stupid so I just want to sort of like prove that I'm not cheating it might look a bit dodgy if I just suddenly get like a billion items from nowhere so yeah I'll, I will record how I've done it just to prove that I've like done it that way so yeah pretty cool yeah I'm going out tonight um I'm going to see some people that make house music. They are called Mosca and George Fitzgerald. Who are like, um, I think I think George Fitzgerald is from like Germany or something. And he is awesome. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be pretty cool. It's like an all night thing. So it, it lasts like eight hours or something, which is just like, well, maybe like six hours. But that's just like ridiculous, yo. So yeah, uh, what we're doing now is we need spelunk. Ooh, get a bit dark. We need spelunka potions to make to make getting the um, the the jungle stuff easier. And we have zero. We don't have any uh, glow sticks. Yes, that's right. My my brain has turned to mush. It's official. So I start I start I goes bye bye. Drop the soul of night. So we're looking for silt because we can't. Oh, is have we opened this chest? No, we haven't. Ice blade. Oh, we got a splunker potion. God is on our side. This guy's after us. Kill it. That guy's after us. Kill it with fire. I actually think we're in the corruption. So that's not good. Like I want a chance. What the hell is that? So many like weird monsters. But yeah, I don't want to get another Crimson Key Mold, because that would be the third. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. What's, what the hell, what's lighting up the area? <laughs> what? Okay. But yeah, we're killing stuff. Them candy things confuse me. I always think it's like a, a nice drop, and then it turns out to be something rubbish. So we need to click this. So yeah, like, once we get all the Splunker Potions, we'll go to the jungle, try and get some life fruits. God, what's up with my brain today? And, ooh, let's go over there, actually. Quick before we drown. Quick, quick, we're drowning. Right, here we go, here we go. We're being followed. We've been followed, everyone, by armored vikings. Let's take them down. Yeah, I need to do that shine potion thing, though. Oh, I got two. Two Splunker potions. Cool. But yeah, I need to actually do that thing that I said I'd do and stock up on loads of shine potions. And we need to do that very soon. Because if we don't, it's too, like, dark, if not. Too dark. And I don't even think it's difficult to make them. Well, it's not difficult to make them. It's easy as hell. 
So I don't understand why I'm not doing it. I think just I just like putting stuff off, obviously. Let's kill this little guy. Oh, look at him. He's harmless. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. So tortoise go by, tortoise go by. Where is that slushy slush or something? Yeah. I don't think we need that much, really. Um, oh, another chest. Let's get that. Just enough to make sure that we get, you know, like maybe like a hundred or something. We should probably would probably be okay now, but I want to make sure. I'm oh, still in the corruption. Oh, it's dropped something. Frost staff. What is it? What can we get rid of bombs? Ooh! Overpowered! Obviously. Okay, what's in the chest? Flurry boots! Nice one, I like it, I like it. So, the inventory needs to sort out when we go back as well. Ah, oh, another goblin army! Ah! Actually, wait, wait. Goodie bags. Yeah, good. Never mind. Um, 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 um. What can we get rid of? Boom! Okay, and then we sort out our inven. Big time. God damn goblin army. Ah, it'll have to do. All our NPCs are going to die in. Alright, so now we're doing some goodie bag collecting, hopefully. I'm hoping that we get some goodie bags. And maybe the banners. I think these guys can drop banners. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. I should really sort out this like spawn area as well. It's a bit like messy. It's all over the place. Like there's all these like ropes and platforms leading to everywhere. Drop a banner. Drop a goodie bag. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. Okay. Yeah, the, the vampire knives are sort of like good in this situation it just makes everything a lot easier but even so even with like this it's pro it's just harder to aim wait why is everything setting on fire oh the magma stone i have only just realized i mean the fire gauntlet increases melee knockback and inflicts fire damage on attack oh the, the in increased melee knockback is works a treat the increased melee knockback is perfect it is great because um any monsters that can get close to you, not a chance. But even so, with this weapon, with the vampire knives, it's just it's impossible anyway for them to get close to me. Because everything just dies so fast. Even bosses. Oh no, Luigi's going to die! No, Luigi! Don't die! Where is all, where, are, where are all the monsters? Are they down here? Hey, stop hurting Ginger. Ginger the mechanic. Alright. I keep thinking that that cat is an enemy. Because it's like, it's, it's, it's intrusive. It just flies over and it's like it's attacking us. Where are you, monsters? Where are you? But yeah, I don't know. I think the Goblin Armies just get quite annoying after a while. But do they drop banners? That's the question that we are going to know. Because if it does, then I'd be really happy. But I think I think I remember in the comments, someone telling me that they do. But I don't know if I should trust you. We'll find out sooner or later. Like I think this is this is like the third one that we've done so far so like if if this let's play goes on for lo you know quite a lot longer or quite a bit longer then we should we should really manage to get like oh no Genjo was slain ah no 
Oh wait, we don't want the party girl to get slain because it took like ages for her to respawn. It's like two percent chance every day or something. So it takes way too long, way too long. Like, I'm really doubting these banners. Like we must have killed like nearly two hundred of each one if you add them all together. And no dice, no dice. We haven't got a single banner yet. Hey, get here, archers and majors and everyone that's over here. And I'm going to guess that the event's going to end in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Damn. I have failed the game. Hmm, okay. So that fast clock. We can combine that with something to make like one of the first um, accessories. And then when you get like loads of these 1% drop chance items from loads of monsters, you can create an ank, which gives like immunity to most like curses and stuff, you know, like bleeding and fear and inverse controls. And then you can, you can combine that with the obsidian shield. So it just helps survivability really. So yeah, I kind of want to get that. <clears throat> and at the beginning of this, oh, we got a goodie bag. Thank God, I almost forgot about them. Finally. I'm going to collect loads of goodie bags. I actually might not open them until the end of the event now. You know, so like, we, w we won't find out whether or not we have all of the armor sets or not. And I don't know, if, I haven't decided if I'm going to cheat or not. And by that I mean, I don't know if I'm going to put the clocks back to make so that we can get all the goodie bags. I'm going to probably say, I'm probably not, because that's, I don't know if I... I kind of see that as cheating a bit, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so, we need to do like a bit of an inventory clean out. Bear yeah, wait a minute. These are like all the ones we got so far. The Trifold Map, the Spiked Nazar, the Warden Bazaar, the Guardian Fast Clock. Those are the four 1% drop chance items we've got so far. And we're going to just keep collecting them. Until, like, you know, we have them all. Okay, so time to make bottles. Look at all these items. Oh my god. Um, where is it? There we go, class. Yeah, when I was getting all them items, um, you know, when I went for the bundle of balloons, a glass platform. I got so many pieces of uh, sand. Ecar torch can be placed in water. Cool! Time to make 600 bottles. Oh, you can only put them in 98. Damn it. All right, and then we go to the Mr. Mr. Extractinator. How much gold have we got? I can't tell. So a lot of it's been thrown on the floor. Oops. All right, so we'll get rid of the iron. We'll get rid of the tungsten platinum. Done with that. Okay, we've got three gold. Okay. That's gone surprisingly well. And then where's the alchemy station? And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight banners so far. Oh yeah, that's like 10%. We've got like 10% of the monster banners. I'm quite happy with that. Oh wait, no, no, no. We need to fill up the bottles of water. So where's the closest water source down here? Oh wait, there's one here. A water source? And you can only put them into stacks of dirty. How depressing. Right. I'm also going to try and get rid of a few things in my inventory now. Like the teleporters. What are they doing in there? Um, it's just space that can be better used. So the crimson key modes can go in there. The teleporters can go in there. The clarified bars and the R's can go in there. The hearts can go in there. The goody bags can go in there. I'll just put everything in here temporarily. Just so that we have more space. For now. 
Look at all these weapons we've got. We've got so many. We'll get rid of the two. The Palladium Chainsaw, we don't need that. Titanium R, which for some reason isn't going in. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, that can be so, what do we do now? Um, we make the potions. Now we have five of them. That's 25 minutes of chlorophyte mining that we can actually manage to do. So, on top of that, shined potions. Right, so we need... Is it day blooms and blink roots? We'll find out. What? What? I forgot how to make them. Oh wait, why do we not make the flasks? Why do we not make the flask? Is there a? Let's have a look at all the flasks really quick. Flask of party. Flask of nanities. Flask of Cursed Flames, Flask of Ikar, Flask of Gold, Ooh. Flask of Venom, Flask of Fire, Flask of Poison, Shocker. Oh, Glowing Mushrooms. Oh, wait, wait, that's that's actually really... All we need then is Day Blooms. So we should really get this Day Bloom farm set up. So I need to like sort out the chest organization, like, for reals. Like, actually get it done. So that's one of our priorities, to sort out the chests and place lots of day blooms. Because for every day bloom we get, we can have like five minutes of brightness. So yeah, well, that'll do. Amber. <gasps> I just thought that I got the pet dinosaur then. I almost freaked. Yeah, we got four platinum, almost five. Okay, so time to go to the jungle! And then in the jungle, we're going to try and get some life fruits, and we just need a bit more chlorophyte to finish off the set. After we've done that, um, we might kill Plantera, actually. Yeah, I think we'll kill Plantera. Like, what What I think we'll do at the moment is, I'm I'm not going to put an end to when these let's build end, but we'll kill Plantera, then we'll go into the jungle, we'll kill some stuff. And then after that, if it gets a bit boring after we've got all the accessories and stuff, I think I might just do, like, a, a hunting series, where, like, I make episodes saying, like, like, uh, I don't know, like, Eye of Cthulhu trophy. And then I spend the entire part killing the Eye of Cthulhu. We get the trophy. We put it in the house. I build a bit of stuff in the house. And then, yeah, we'll do that. Like, it might, in the future, it might get more editing based if there's less stuff to do. But right now, I think after we've got the Chlorophyte set, we've got all the life through. I think we'll, ju we'll just kill Plantera. I don't see why not. And we still need the robot hat. I've killed so many piranhas and stuff. Same with the slimes, like, when do the when are the slimes ever going to give me a lebanas? Probably never. Depends. Okay, so we'll drink one of them, drink one of them. I could just press B actually. B for buff. What oh, there's a chest, let's get that. I have we ever seen that? It's it's hidden. It looks hidden. Oh, it was. I never saw that one. Missed it. It's just like tucked away in the corner. We missed it. Wow, look at all this stuff, but we're only here for the chlorophyte and the jungle key mold, of course. That's why I like to be in a jungle because there's always a chance that we can get the key mold. And I don't want to farm it. I will have. It will feel like. Whoa, why is. Is that the stone that's doing that? I think it is. But yeah, it will feel like a much bigger achievement. There's one of the life fruits over there. But that's effort to get over there. It's effort. Effort. But I think we'll go up there anyway. Nah, screw it. Just gonna make a mess out of this jungle. Make a mess out of the jungle. But yeah, uh, I, there's, I've seen a few of these Pantera bulbs. And I think we are fairly, I want to say we are fairly close now to killing Pantera. Like, we'll kill it, and then, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking about, like, how we're going to get all of the hard mode keys. Like, ooh, a mimic. Like, right now, it's not that much of a problem. Plus, we're stunned again. 
It's not that much of a problem. Is that another mimic? It is. It's got to be. Look at it. It's perched on side. Jesus. No, no, no wonder we got the mimic banner. They're all over the place. Is that another one? What in the world? We're gonna be rich. We got 24 gold. We got one of them magic daggers we can sell. Yeah, it's just a shame that we already have the banner because I would have been freaking out. Yeah. Nice. And yeah, if um, if everything's been done, I think I will actually try and make the Let's Play parts where we try and get some of the rarest items in the game, like the moth banner or the there's a, there's another one. But I can't remember what it's called. There's some like really rare spawn in the. I think it's called like a nymph or something. And it's really rare spawn and it drops a banner. So it's very, 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 very hard to get. And it would be awesome to get it. I think also the bosses can drop banners. Sim Plantera can also drop this like guitar thing. I think it's, some I think it's a bit like a hammer. But if we got that. It's like a 1 in 200 drop chance or something. So I might try and farm that in the future as well. The blood moon is rising. Maybe that's good. Does that mean more... Um, does that mean more jungle monsters are going to spawn? I hope it does. I was just checking like what potions I've just used. Okay, what health do we have? Yeah, we're kind of like looking for the life for instance. Stuff. Wait, I'm just going past so much chlorophytes. What am I doing? Oh wait, you can hold shift, can you? I keep forgetting. So how much do we have? 69. Giggity. And I think that means we do have enough now to make the greaves. But turtle armor is something that I would like to get as well. I probably would have just got the turtle armor straight up if I knew about it. Well, I didn't know about it. I just didn't realize that you needed clarify to make it. So I done goofed. Same with the turtles. We're only killing them for the banners now. Because we have... We've got enough stuff to... To make the to make the armor, I think you only need three, and we've got three. So yeah, that's the end of that story. I oh, would some some clarify here. Let's get that. And then there's another turd. Ah, the turd will do so much damage. A KO cannon. Turtles just dropped a broken KO cannon. Is this a joke? It's as far as a boxing glove. Ah, what? 36 milli damage, shoots a boxing glove. You see, that's what I love about this game. I just got like an item I've never heard that exists from, I think it was the turtle. But yeah, man, that's sweet. It's, bro it's got a broken prefix though. Wah, wah, wah. I shall punch you like a boxing glove. I want to KO someone. Knockout. Knockout. Yeah. Flawless kill. Um, do, do, do. Where's the... Oh, is that clarify up there? I can't tell you very much. What's this hornet doing? He's taunting me. Another spider. I hate spiders. Them spiders are quite cool. Like, it's got two sprites and it, you can either, like, crawl up walls or, you know, like, just walk. And I find that very cool. But yeah, uh, I think Plantera is going to be in the next upcoming parts. I think I'm going to make the Greaves in a minute. Let me just get this. We have over a hundred of this stuff. I I, ha I can't even remember how many bars it is to clarify. It might be five. It might be four. It might be a million. 
and I work what what there's a lot here let's get this what happened to the turtle it looked like it just oh it's there yeah clarified clarified like we're gonna make all the stuff that we can oh let's take this 445 I actually think we're gonna go kill Pantera in the next part actually I every every time I say it it makes me want to do it even more I want to do it so bad Let's go back. In a minute. See what if these guys drop any. Oh, and a turtle shell. Are they worth anything? Because we've got like a spare now. Maybe I should like save them just in case there's ever like a use for them. And just like what I always do, let's have a quick trip into hell since it's the blood moon. Oh, a goodie bag. Goodie bag. Goodie bag. Goodie bag. Good. I just want to clear up a bit of space. Is that enough space cleared up? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know why, but I just have this sort of like tendency to come down into hell. I think it's because of the amount of monsters, like the fact that we still need to get banners from a lot of the monsters. Like the Red Devil. The Red Devil is a hard monster. It's, it's very... It does a lot of damage, a lot. You can die very easily. Even with the vampire knives and chlorophyte armor, it's still very easy to die. Right, we'll go back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make the armor. Let me just get the bars out. Hmm, why did I put them? What the, Jesus? Oh, there's still blood moon. Oh, there's a rare. Wraith die very easily now, which is good. Oh, I thought I'd put it in there, but I didn't see it the first time. Hey, get out of my house! Get out! Look at all these... Can the Hopping Jacks drop banners? Actually, I'm going to look that up, and if they do, I'm going to have to try and farm them before they disappear. Because I want the Hopping Jacks. My god, so many hopping jacks. Toxic sludgy. Lens. Oh yeah, lenses. Nice, yeah. I'm taking advantage of this blood moon. I think it's almost over. Uh, I think it is over. But I'm going to kill a few of the things. Alright, time to make the... Uh, the bars, the bars. Excuse me. Excuse my language. I mean... The fact that I, I can't even speak properly today. I think my brain's turned to mush. And then we'll make the greaves. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might even be able to make a piece of turtle armor. <gasps> we can! And the enemies are more likely to attack you. That sounds very good. That sounds really good. I'm tempted. Well, we're definitely going to get that soon. We got the we got the greaves. I mean, the hat. Is it the hat? Yeah, we got the helmet. So we need to get we need to get the full set. Okay, the hopping jacks. I actually want to continue killing. Well, I want more stuff. To, this hopping jacks is spawning really frequently on this blood moon. Wow. And the fact that we don't have like a zombie banner yet, or even possessed armor, which I just all over the place, or a toxic sludge one. Disappointing, especially zombies, because they're like the most common night monster. So now we can put the greaves on. We should get that. Yeah, now we got that 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 gem on top of our head. It, it just sort of like tries to attack stuff, which is a nice little bonus. Pixie. All right, so I think I'm gonna end it there, guys. Let me just. Put this KO cannon. Whoa, look at that demon eye. It's got like a raven costume on. Cool beans. So we'll put the weapon where it belongs. KO cannon. And then we'll open the goodie bag. I've decided we're going to open it at the end of each part. We've got the cat mask. I think we've got that. Yes, we do game so I'm just gonna sell it
Where is it? Oh, cat shirt. Cat. Cat mask. Cat see the piece. Oh, it's there. Let's do it. See, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next part where we are going to be killing Plantera. So, yeah, it's been fun so far. I'll see you all later. And goodbye.